everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Buckery Designs. I'm gonna show you how to make this really cute, fun fold that features the Kite Delight stamp set from the current 2022 spring mini catalog. But I am pulling in some sneak peek colors. Uh, we're gonna use Tahitian Tide and Parakeet Party, which are both new in colors from the new annual catalog that comes out in May. Now this card is uh, cased from a fancy fold that I got from Don Griffith when we were in Salt Lake City for our Million Dollar Achievers retreat. Um, I loved the, the design of this fancy fold, so I had to recreate it. You can see it's got multiple layers here, and it's just really a lot of fun. All right, let's get started. I think what we'll do is all of our stamping first. We're gonna stamp this kite in Memento Black on thick white. Okay. Now we are gonna fussy cut this kite out, but it's very easy to cut, so don't worry. Um, we're going to, now there are a lot of pieces here. Um, just hop to my blog. There's a PDF with the measurements and uh, they'll have, I'll have all the measurements of the pieces uh, for you. There are, there's a lot of pieces. Um, but I'll have them written down there. Now we're gonna stamp this kite tail, if you will, about right there on this piece of basic white. We're also gonna take the clouds, the clouds stamp, and let's see, do I have grid paper? I never have grid paper when I need it, so let's use this. Oh, you know what, I do have some right here. All right, well, whatever, we'll use this. You are gonna stamp off our, our, the, the edge of our cardstock here, so you wanna protect your work surface. So this is the new Tahitian Tide. It's a beautiful turquoise color. All right, so we've got that. Now for the inside of our card right here, we're gonna stamp this other kite. Let's start with the tail again, kind of going off the page like that and we're gonna grab this small little kite right here stamp that there and let's bring back our cloud and we'll just kind of do a few of them here and there all right now we're gonna do some coloring with Stampin' Blends. Now I, I stamped my images in Memento because I wanted to color with Stampin' Blends. Memento is your water-based ink and the Stampin' Blends are alcohol-based. So that's why I chose to use those inks. Now I'm gonna go in here with Polished Pink and I'm using Polished Pink Light and I'm using my brush tip to cover this large space. And then we're gonna go in with a dark polished pink and add some dimension. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my dark and I'm just gonna go on the inside of each of these squares and just draw another square. This is gonna add some kind of depth and dimension to the color of our kite. Okay, and while I'm here, I'm gonna also add a little bit of dark polished pink to each of these little bows. I'm gonna switch over to the bullet point and I'm gonna just blend each of those squares together so that it's not such a harsh line. That's why they're called Stampin' Blends because they will blend that color together nicely. All right, and now we'll come down here and color in the rest of our little bows. There are four different kites in this stamp set for you to choose from. Varying sizes, gives you lots of options. All right, now let's take our Wink of Stella and color in our clouds with some Wink of Stella. This is gonna give us a little bit of glitter, a little bit of shimmer. All right, now here's the piece that's gonna go on our front. So we'll carry over that sparkle. All right, and we're gonna color 
Let's look at the front. We're gonna color um, this with the Tahitian no, the Parakeet Party Stampin' Blends. Again, we'll do the light green, the light parakeet. It's gonna take me a while to learn these names. I love these in colors. They're bright and fun. And we'll add just a little bit of dark there where those lines are. Okay, now let's bring over our kite. I'm gonna use light polished pink again for my flowers. And I'm just gonna color in those petals carefully. Try not to get the center of your flower or the white part surrounding it. I am using thick white cardstock, thick basic white cardstock here. I find that it really holds the color of the Stampin' Blends really well. All right, now polished pink. Polished pink is also an in color, but it's from last year, so we have one more year to go with it. Our in colors stay for two years. All right. Now for the center, I've got a dark Daffodil Delight Stampin' Blend, and we'll just color that in like that. And there we go. Now grab your scissors and cut it out. Truly very easy. All right, so now I'm gonna take a Stampin' Dimensional put that right there. Now we're not done here. I'm gonna take a, a light Tahitian Tide marker and we're gonna outline this to give it a little bit of a shadow. So to do this, I'm just gonna use the bullet end and I'm just gonna very lightly go around both sides of the black line. This is gonna just kind of help it pop off the page a little bit. If you don't feel comfortable sticking this close, making this fine of a line, then just leave it off. Your eye really doesn't see it. It just knows that it, it is adding some kind of excitement. I don't know what the word is. Electricity to your image. It just is a little more bright and vivid. Now I am gonna also go around this kite like this, just to give it a little bit of a shadow. And yeah. Okay, there is our front image. Now we have one more piece, this little square on the inside right here. We're gonna stamp the sentiment right in the middle in polished pink. And we'll add a few more of those Tahitian Tide clouds. Like that. Well, I didn't do a very good job. I didn't ink my, ooh, there we go. All right, and once again, a little bit of Wink of Stella. This would make a great birthday card for a kid. I'm also gonna show you where you can tuck in a gift card if you'd like. All right, so now we've got all of our pieces. We need to cut out these clouds right here. I'm gonna bring over my cut in a box machine and I have four pieces of basic white cardstock. They're all four and an eighth wide and they vary in height. Um, we want them to all be just a little bit different in their height and their size. All right, so I've got two through there like that. Okay, and now I've got two more and I'll stick that. I'm gonna try to make the clouds, I don't want them to be identical, so I'm moving my die over a little bit that way. It can be kind of at an angle if you want. There we go. All right, we are ready to put this card together. Let's bring over all of our pieces. Your card base, 
is five and a half by, mm, look at the notes on my, on my blog. I believe it's 10 and a half, but maybe it's 10. <laughs> um, you're going to score it. Um, at four and an eighth and eight and three eighths, okay? And it actually is gonna go this way. This piece is a little bit shorter over here so that it fits nicely in like that. We're gonna take a piece of designer series paper. This is the Tahitian Tide designer series paper from the In Color pack. It's got eight pieces of each color. And we're gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna bring over our clouds and I'm just gonna kind of arrange let's see how I want them like that I'll put the first one down with stamp and seal and then I'm going to take the next one and I'm going to put dimensionals along the bottom this is where you can stick in your gift card if you want you could just tuck it down into that cloud all right we'll put that right down at the bottom edge of our card now we're gonna do the same thing up top. We'll put that one, we wanna match those edges. And this one with dimensionals. Like that. All right, so there's that part of our card. Now on the inside, we're gonna get that larger piece that we stamped. We're gonna put that right there. Now we're gonna add this ribbon in here, which I just wanna make sure that we see exactly where it goes before we start adhering things. I always forget to add my ribbon underneath things, but we're okay so far. This is another piece. It's actually the other side of that polka dot ribbon. Cute little plaid. All right, now I've got a piece of the Parakeet Party. Um, let's see, three and a half by seven. And this is where we wanna get our ribbon. We're gonna take it across the front like this, okay? And I'm gonna take my, I have another piece of Tahitian Tied. And we'll put that right on top of that ribbon, okay? And then we've got our kite piece that's gonna go right there. It looks like I didn't cut it quite small enough. I probably switched these, see? That one is supposed to be there, but that's okay. We'll just trim it down a little bit. The Tahitian Tide piece is three and a fourth, so this needs to be right at three. Let's make sure. We can cut off a little bit. Let's see, let's make sure. Did we get that the right? Yep. So right at three, and then we'll cut off a little bit down here. I knew I was gonna get those mixed up. Okay, that can go right there in the middle. And then this one goes on the inside. Like that. All right, so bring back your card base, and we're gonna adhere this right there in the middle, okay? So put a nice amount of adhesive right there. And get it nice and centered right there. And then you're gonna use that ribbon to wrap it around and tie it. This is the Tahitian Tide Metallic Ribbon. Gorgeous. And let's snip it and we've got our card. Isn't that a fun, fun fold? And again, you can here, right here, stick your gift card in. I don't have a gift card here, but you can just stick that gift card underneath there and you've got a gift card holder. All right, lots of measurements here and products. Make sure you hop back to my blog to get the full supply list. Um, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.